controller ASMR Nintendo Switch. Yeah. If you do, the difference is if you do too much Joy-Con ASMR, they'll break. Um. It's a good point. I'll be careful. Pieces of fucking dog shit. <laughs> do you think the new ones are going to be better? I don't know. I don't know. I like the sound on this podcast very much. Oh, I, that picking up is game changer. What, that? <sighs> you failed to notice. Uh, uh, John Fortnite wasn't introduced until season flarp. The, um, they did like a Rick and Morty tribute. Um, both were crucified. And John Fortnite kind of came chest bursted out of their bodies in a really cool way. That was how they filmed Alien. In a sweet, marketable way, kind. Don't judge me, because I'm, I'm coming in for the big one. The big Fortnite surprise. I'm coming Fortnite in for the special. big Fortnite surprise. Hey guys, you can shoot the NBA in Fortnite now. You can murder the NBA uh, in Fortnite. In the paint, there's still time to show off your NBA pride. Suit up and rep your favorite team. You know, I, I went to the, uh, the NBA Pride Parade, Pride Parade in Chicago last week, and it was awesome. Everybody was in basketball shorts. I didn't. I didn't go there. No. No. I did something different than that. I went to like Costco, Chili's, Cheetos, and I played Fortnite there though. And that's the connective tissue here because we love Fortnite. We love to game. We love to get really mad and like just really Fortnite the cool. And we love Fortnite. So why why are we gathered here? What's your Fortnite? What's what's your Fortnite story? My Fortnite story? What's your Fortnite story? I'm Hello. Hello, I'm Aiden Kinsella. I'm here to tell my Fortnite story. This yeah. is Fortnightly. Welcome to Fortnightly, the podcast about Fortnite. Yeah. And Good to have you here, Sienna. Yeah. Uh, my Fortnite story is... It's all over the place. I think I started in 2017 when Fortnite first came out on my gaming laptop from MSI. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a... Hey, Andrea, could you check over uh, what version of the computer I have? It should be on a sticker in the bottom right corner next to the, the colorful RGB keyboard. Let's see. Very um, lit up. GT67VR7RD yeah. Dominator. GT67VR7R Dominator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You've got that um, uh, GTX 1060. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the graphics card. Um, yeah. All kinds That's of exciting stuff. Yeah, so I started playing Fortnite in 2017 when Fortnite first came out. I like I was a big fan of PUBG and then I was like, "Whoa, it's PUBG again, but it's it looks like a cartoon." Mm -hmm. And I thought it was pretty awesome, and I just love to play Fortnite. So I played I've played it a lot recently on the Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. So I started on my PC and I played just all the time for a couple days. And then a couple months later, I played all the time with my friends for a couple yeah. weeks. We would do duos together. Me and my friend Cameron did yeah, duos definitely. together after school often. Definitely um, Fortnite with yeah. friends. It's really fun. Right. Sometimes we did it in person at Cameron's house. Sometimes we did it over the phone. Fortnite really has lots of options for how to hang out. Yeah, and, you know, I love hanging out and having fun with Fortnite. You know, I've been playing Fortnite since it uh, came out in 2011, which was actually when it came out. And, you know, they didn't have online play yet. That wasn't invented for a few years. So mostly just got all my buds, you know, circle, like, 9 to 12 friends, depending on the hour, like, moon cycle, and, uh, basically, yeah, we'd get that and, like, whatever, like, Cicada Brood was there until I kind of fill in some gamer slots so we could get 100. Because, you know, it's Fortnite is all about 100 people climbing, jumping, doing everything they can. Cool tricks and shooting each other. Yeah, and that's kind of a secondary element, but that, you know, I mean, I guess that's, you know... 
you know, I guess, I mean, if you're, you know, if you're, if you're like kind of a Fortnite beginner, then maybe you're shooting You might people, shoot people but... still in the Fortnite mm-hmm. game. Yeah. You've been playing much longer than I have, yeah. so you're bringing some insight to me that yeah. is very valuable. Yeah. I've been playing since the cicadas for sure. Um, I do remember back in in middle school, we had a couple phone calls. Yeah, I was, yeah, I had the GTX 412, the, um, and I was wearing flip-flops at the time, and no further questions. What's the Fortnite news? I want to know about the news. Oh, okay. This is the news section of the Fortnightly podcast. Hold on, we haven't even done the theme song yet. Give me a second. Let me run that. This is Fortnightly, Fortnightly, Fortnite Podcast. This is Fortnightly. The podcast about Celine Dion, thank you very much. Celine Dion wrote that in collaboration with Guns N' Roses. Uh, I appreciate you, Celine. I will see you next time uh, we do a podcast. Yeah. Let me um, get the door for you. Hold on. She's resting her vocal cords right now. There you go. And let me slam the door on Celine, man. Yeah, I just need the new... I don't have Wi-Fi or computer or... I don't have any... Don't. So are you don't sure have... Fortnite didn't have online play compatibility in 2011? It did. I, I played... I got the multi-tap. We played multi-tap Fortnite. What? What's That's the news? I like... need the news. I don't have Wi-Fi. Fortnite is no longer multi-tap, first of all. They don't yeah. allow multi-tap controllers without some routing. you got to run your multi-tap controller through a, a simulator uh, or uh, emulator. Well, it, you, it has to translate through the computer emulator, a program you could download from the Internet, like a VST plugin that just translates all the inputs from your tap, tap mm-hmm. controller. Yeah. And that goes into an Xbox controller an emulator, and that is how you play Fortnite with the tap-tap controller. Now, other big Fortnite news. You could shoot the NBA in Fortnite, as we brought up mm-hmm. already. Yeah. It's very exciting. I have a lot of grudges against NBA players for losing. I, I feel for personally being responsible for certain matches that were lost that I had a lot of money money on. Mm-hmm. Money money. Yeah. I'm... Yeah, the real cool thing is that they have the NRA crossover coming after this, and that one's going to be kind of like, that's like kind of flip-flop, Freaky Friday. It's cool because like, the NRA people love the it. NRA, that's not normally how it goes. I don't... Yeah. Normally the NRA is shooting you yeah, most of the time. but in this policy changes. Through policy changes, and of course, and lobbying and money bullets. Mm-hmm. Conceptually, yeah. the Fortnite allowing the NRA to enter their game after the NBA is something I think they can do to heighten further because the NBA is already very exciting, and that's following Travis Scott doing a concert in Fortnite. Mm-hmm. Um, so people bringing the NRA to Fortnite is awesome because there's a lot of people in the NRA who like to shoot guns, and this I think will introduce them to Fortnite, who they might be some older yeah. uh, demographic folks. Who will then say, oh, that's me. I look like that guy. Mm -hmm. Um, And they'll be like, I want to be myself in Fortnite. Here's a video game for the NRA. Yeah. And so Fortnite will get at least like a couple thousand battle passes probably out of that. Because that's like buying a NRA identification card. But yeah. But I mean, that's that's like the pipeline that the the Fortnite developers are kind of working on. Because... You know, the NRA sees themselves in Fortnite, and then they're like, well, I can be Fortnite, and I can be the NRA, but I want to be Chun-Li. 
And then they play as Chun Li, and they play as Ronald McDonald, um, Uncle Sam, uh, Saddam Bandler, all the cools. I've heard Saddam Bandler is a nice character to play. The umbrella that you get um, to fly down, like your mm -hmm. your in, in placement of a glider. Yeah. Uh, is actually an umbrella girl. It's a woman holding an umbrella and then gripping onto you with uh, the tight grip of her powerful legs. Yeah. It's, yeah. They don't have that on the Xbox version, though. They couldn't get it running. Yeah, Umbrella Girl is exclusive to all non-Xbox Fortnite consoles. I'm a member, and another piece of news. Hey, uh, shut up. Another piece of news. Uh, I'm a member of the Fortnite crew, and the membership has its perks, and this is an advertisement for Fortnite. Fortnite is not paying for, paying for this advertisement from me right now. Ugh, I'm so mad about it! Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to do it anyway because I like Fortnite very much enough to do this podcast. It's the only podcast, the podcast about Fortnite. So just uh, I'll let you know, membership has its perks. I got a new loading screen. This is an uncommon item, the new team. How it ends. May 2021 crew bonus, part of the yeah. return set. There's a big the purple and pink city appearing through a rift in the background. And that's there's a the badass. Teaser. That's the teaser for Barney. They're about to put in him. Oh! That's yeah. why it's from a purple city. Barney's going to be in the game. Yeah. And it's going to be like, I hate you, you hate me, let's all go and kill Barney type deal. I claim my reward. God, fuck! No, I'm sorry. Uh, cut. Can we, can we cut? Can we cut? Yeah, um, cut. Um, but yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, I'll get myself a new drink, too. <sighs> I love Fortnite. So much. You hear the news out of, they got the lawsuit, it's, they're, Fortnite games and Sega are actually kind of going at it, because Sega, they don't want Fortnite on Dreamcast 3, because they're selling their Xboxes in the Fortnite demo, you can down, but download the demo, and then they got a, like a, you can pay $60 to play Fortnite. But that all, that all that money goes to Xbox, Sony, and Microsoft, and Nintendo, and not and Sega doesn't get it, and Fortnite gets it, all of it, and they don't get none of them get any of it actually. So it's really weird. But the Sega, the Sega suit, there's some been some details leaked due to of of some maybe some some dealings that weren't so. Weren't so wholesome, weren't so Keanu Reeves, Chungus, lovable. Um, do you do you, do you have any insight on that? Do you know any of that? Because I'm not, you know, I'm not up to date. I don't have Fortnite don't reviews that weren't so positive. No, there's, you know, it's just there's some <laughs> dealings. There's some internal dealings, kind of between Fortnite games and different developers, publishers, all of the different studios of the world. They're trying to make deals happen. Oh, I clearly was not listening. I was li yeah. I was making my drink. Um, I was yeah, trying to pay attention. Yeah, that's so fucking like you. It is so um, fucking. I'm an asshole. And it's I really... play Fortnite all the time, and and it's a detriment to my relationships personally mm -hmm. with other people. Mm -hmm. All I can think about is Fortnite. Yeah. And and drinking. Mm -hmm. I have that's a true. Fortnite problem. That's true. All that's true. I can't deny an inch of it. And honestly, you kind of look like an idiot right now. I, I look really stupid when I drink too much. I know! <laughs> Fuck! Yeah. Okay, Fortnite dealings in the world. There's E3 coming up. It's June. And mm -hmm. Fortnite's trying... I mean, they got the NRA coming in, mm -hmm. which is huge. They got the NRA... And I was going to mention earlier when we were talking about the NRA. The NRA is very excited to be in the Fortnite zone they want to be more accessible to teens. They want to be in a space where people can see them for what they are. Mm -hmm. They yeah. want to shoot the NBA. 
The NRA hates the NBA for having such a similar name to them and keeps lobbying for the NBA to change it. And the NBA is like, no. And the NRA is like, fine, we'll keep lobbying. Mm -hmm. And that's the threat that they make. And that's but now why they call it when you get together with your friends and Fortnite and play queue up, you, it's a lobby. Yeah. It's exactly why it's called a lobby when you get into the Fortnite game and queue up with your friends. Mm-hmm. So some more deals Fortnite's trying to make aside from just with the NRA is they're trying to make deals with in their in their action state mission statement they're for for this month of June they've laid out that they want to work with more people who are leftists liberals and quote democrats mm -hmm. yeah and, they and they're trying listed. to find people who want to shoot the NRA and they also listed they're trying to work with Barney more as well. That's a big part of it. And that's so they've teamed up with PBS and they've been trying to get the rights to Barney because they have all these dinosaurs in the game right now. They've been introducing new weapons to go along with that. And there's a crafting system. Um, if you kill the wolves or the raptors or the chickens, you can get animal bones and you can make primal rifles. The NRA is going to be really yeah. into that, I think. Um, sort of the first rifle is what that idea is based on. Yeah. You can make primal SMGs, which are submachine sub guns for people listening to this who might play Fortnite but not know what an SMG, what that SMG stands for. That's submachine gun. Except on Nintendo and on 3DO, both of it stands for Super Mario Galaxy there, so... Yeah, I've actually been playing a lot on my Switch, and I've noticed that when I shoot my Primal SMG, it quits out of Fortnite and it loads up Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Yeah, and it goes, yippee! Yeah! Wah-wah-hoo! Wah-wah-wah-wah-wah! Hold on, Game Bowser! Yippee! Wah-hoo! You know, I just love these Mario games so much, man. I'm so excited. I don't... I've never played them before, but it's really... It sounds really cute. Like Mario's kind of like a cute guy. He's like, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't give a. Can I, fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. I don't. Our parents are gonna hear if we don't. We can't. Um. Yeah, and that's. Fuck. And that kind of leads into our next segment, which is uh, kind of talking about the balance of Fortnite, the patch notes. They're really... It's, look, Fortnite games... It's LLC, really extreme. This this Season 6 Part 2 is yeah. really extreme now that they've added the NBA. Some characters, just based on their skin, can jump so high. So uh, not their, not their skin color, to be clear. Just if you have an NBA skin, you can jump higher than yeah. other skins on your characters yeah. and you with stuff like that they also have barney coming in as a, not only as a character that you can kill for bones but as a overpowered player skin character i think is the best way to describe it. Yeah. if you select the barney skin it comes with a whole loadout mm -hmm. on its own like you get you have to buy it as a package you can only select because the, all the guns are become parts of the costume like the arms are guns now yeah. And he's super overpowered. He has like 500 hit points and he starts with 700 shields. I don't know why. I, like, in the game's code, because Barney's not out yet in most regions, mostly just like they like Tibetan mountains because of like how time transfers across like height, it actually came out there already. But, yeah, um, the, because they're so high up. But yeah. if you get too high up, like on Mount Everest, if it's a little higher, that's like... On Mount Everest... There's nothing already, up there, because time moves too fast. It's like yeah. already... I'm, I mean, on Mount Everest, they practically have already released a Mario game. That's the thing, is, is Barney's got... I don't know. I thought it was kind of inappropriate in the data mines and the monk, the monk messages that... You can see that Barney's name is Christ in the game's data, and I thought that was weird. I thought... Well, Barney is a Christ metaphor. That's why PBS was working so hard to put out Barney episodes. It was like, 
if kids aren't going to go to church, kids don't think church is cool anymore, but kids love TV and dinosaurs and the color purple. And so we're going to show them the big purple church dinosaur, church dinosaur, which if you rearrange the letters in church dinosaur, it spells Jesus Christ. And love. And love. Jesus Christ and love. Yeah, church dinosaur has enough letters to get and love in there. Yeah, and I got... There's kind of a list of some of the new characters that are coming out, and I'm really, I'm really excited about this. They got uh, Sub Sub Zero Scorpion from uh, Traveler's Tales, Mortal Kombat. That's um, they got Stray Cat J will be from Tumblr will be on and Twitter screaming Cat J will be on there. This we don't. We, this is not an endorsement. This is not a paid sponsorship. We are only no copyright intended. And this is sponsored by. For, wait, no, that's not. It's wait. Fortnightly is sponsored by you. Fortnightly is sponsored by you listening to us right now. If you want to sponsor Fortnightly or if you are already sponsoring Fortnightly, that's going to be happening at the Sinister Parent Company headquarters, Patreon. Back to the show. Can you believe the weapon they added? Oh my god, I love the new gun. Yeah. The interesting thing about it is that it's not a gun, and you can't shoot it, and it's a baseball bat, actually. And it's, um, it's crazy. It's really big. It's made out of gold. <laughs> um, I thought it- Fortnite's way different from when it came out. The power creep's ridiculous. All the... All the developers of Fortnite were, like, four feet tall, like, little gnome guys when it came out, and they only made weapons that you can smile at, and, you know, you can't even shake a stick at them. And then now all the developers of Fortnite are ten feet tall, made out of gold, and they use their powers for evil. Like, they add a baseball bat made out of silver, gold, platinum, Minecraft. Kills vampires. And you can use it to... it will. It'll punt your enemy into the real world. Like, they'll just be real now. You can just create... They were removed from Fortnite and put into real life. And the NBA players, it's a really big problem because they're make... there's more of them now. That's not good. That's not good. There's too many developers developing Fortnite. They're all too tall and they're too golden. It's, it's the problem. Really... And they called the bat a gun, which is so confusing. It's called a new gun. They put a new gun yeah. in the game. They, it's really weird because, like, all the golden Fortnite developers, it's solid. Like, it's not plated, and they can't, like, they're... Half the Fortnite money is going to, like, reinforcing the floor. Buying of, more gold. The, going Reinforcing the floors of Fortnite Games Limited to, like... <laughs> prevent them from like crashing through and like falling through and finding a secret room with a chest in it and like it has a dungeon map and other cool stuff that's the worst thing is that fortnite keeps putting they put the chests in front of you but then they keep trying to like break the game so you can't open them it's yeah. so frustrating that's, yeah, and that's really why I wanted to kind of segue into... If you walk into the Tall Peaks, yeah, which is, um, it, Tall Peaks is the first uh, Fortnite location to have mm -hmm. a non-alliterative name, Tall Peaks, but they uh, eventually were, uh, uh, players, I mean, were so upset by Tall Peaks' name that they changed it to be spelled Tall Peaks, that's tall, and then the letter T at the beginning of Peaks, yeah. but it's silent. Like in pterodactyl, yeah. and that's why chicken check mark. The T is silent, silent in pterodactyl. They, I'm excited for the new area, chicken check mark. Though it's really cute. They, there's a little chicken there, and he's and it's like you know he's there. And it's every like, time you go to the chicken, fight. if you interact with it, it's like you, a big check mark appears on the map there. Yeah, I want to get serious right now. Okay, I want to get really serious. Hold because, on, hold on. We need serious. We need serious transition. So, you know, I've been playing Fortnite for about 11 years, you know, since like 2008, you know, it was, it wasn't really about the money. It was about, you know, three kids from Ohio with a dream making Fortnite and, you know, the competitive scene was booming. And the big thing about it was that 
you didn't have to fight people who were as good as you, and you just fought people who are worse than you. But now Fortnite has this thing called skill-based matchmaking. Fuck! I really? I hate skill-based yeah, matchmaking hate so SCM. much. Fortnite needs to get rid of it right now. I can't I handle want, it anymore. I'm not going to play the game. I'm not going to keep being a Fortnite Battle Pass subscriber if they keep trying to match me to people who are the same skill level as me. It pisses me the fuck off. I'm, I'm so good at Fortnite, I just want to shoot everybody and make them die. I want to kill the whole NBA. Fuck. They're so much better at basketball than me. I want to be better than them at something. Yeah, and it's kind of like, I don't want the SBMM, I don't want the SSBM, I don't want the, um, I don't want the BDSM. I don't, any of this shit is like... The BDSM is a strong weight. weapon, though. That's a legendary the letters, level. It glows the orange. Too much. The SBMM, the problem is, okay, here's the thing. I like to go on my stream, it's just like a, like a water, you go, you just send You got, like, with the boat? Yeah. yeah, and um, I go on my stream and I'm trying to get these sick Fortnite frags. It's a great place to think and to play Fortnite and, with a lot of focus. Um, the bird sounds are nice. And I'm trying, my viewers, the birds, are <laughs> not impressed by my gameplay. They are, they're thinking it's weird. They're and they tweet about it. Cringeworthy. And I need my gameplay to look fucking cool, awesome, lovable. And this and is the problem with Fortnite. It just looks c lovable. It's too much of a cartoon. Yeah. And I don't get to Fortnite. shoot enough people that are lower skill level than me for it to look yeah. cool. Like, Fortnite should be more cool and more like... You notice how Super Smash Bros. 5 zooms in when it thinks you're going to kill somebody? Yeah, I don't know what any of that means, but yeah, I know all about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, like when you play Super Smash Brothers Five, I'll describe for the listener. Oh. It's, it's if you're if you're getting really close to knocking somebody off the stage, which is usually how you win in Super Smash Brothers. You want to knock them real hard off the side of the stage, or let them fall, yeah. disgracefully, yeah. Yeah. or if they're Peach, gracefully. But the, the the situation in Super Smash Brothers Five, something I love very much, is if you're about to knock somebody off the stage, it slows down for just a second and kind of zooms in on you. And you do this big like, kind of slow-mo Super Smash move or regular Smash move that you then see like a giant blast of energy come off the side of the stage as the character you destroy disappears. Fortnite, you just kind of like shoot somebody until they get beamed up by Scotty into the spaceship above you. Yeah. And that I find dissatisfying and not awesome. We need... Blood in Fort No. Video games should be awesome. Cause video games should be awesome! Yeah. They should be, like, worth smiling at and craving. Because the original Fortnite games, you couldn't even shake a stick at the weapons, but at least you had to smile at them. And that made Fortnite worth it. That made Fortnite a big deal. That made Fortnite a bigger deal than it's, you think. That's how it grew. We, I, yeah. I'm a big Fortnite fan. I love Fortnite so much. I love playing these mother. You've been playing for ten years. Fortnite. You're games. a ten year veteran. And but I, it, but I've never played the game before. I've played it every day though. It's just understand it, understand it, listen, look, learn, love. Because Fortnite is about more than just forts. It's really about the experience of winning with your friends, getting sick frags, showing off your coolest Fortnite skin, and going to Chicken Checkmark, uh, Pli Plipple Plillage, um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sponsored area. And it's really... You should... You should play Fortnite, but don't I love the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It. Can we talk about the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sponsored area for a second? I would love to. And I don't want this to be so serious, so hold on a second. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe area. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the Mario Kart Deluxe area of the podcast as well. It's the best Maybe. part of the podcast this time. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about how much fun it is to drive cars in Fortnite and how much I enjoy it when, like, Cardi B comes on the radio in Fortnite. When I'm listening to Fortnite and I get to listen to wet ass pussy. Yeah. While I'm shooting people at the side of my car. No, you actually can't do that in Fortnite, which really frustrates yeah. me. And in PUBG, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds much better game because you can shoot people out of the side of your car. 
or out of the top of your car. Yeah. If your car opens up like that, you, uh, you, Fortnite car driving is awesome though. Like it's very satisfying, especially when you put the off-road wheels power up on yeah. the car and you pretty much can do whatever, all these sick flips, yeah. cool frags, uh, run people over. That's what absolutely my second favorite way to kill people in Fortnite right after mm -hmm. by, uh, luring them towards the chest that are yeah. broken by the people who made the game. That, like, yeah. When you lure somebody toward the chest and they try to open it, but then a giant sinkhole opens up on the map and it makes the whole, like, town that you're in, the whole alliterative town, um, the yeah. sinkhole. That's, hey, I feel exactly the same way about it. Nice. All that. I know all about it. It's good. And, yeah. I you remember. Hope, I hope Paul freaking Fortnite falls off a cliff. Do you remember when Fortnite had all that original music that they were doing because they couldn't afford to license it? Yeah, I remember that from day... Well, Fortnite, when it launched in uh, 1997, didn't really have music. <laughs> yeah, 1997, people... We hadn't invented music yet, to be fair, in the digital format. It was all acoustic. There was no radio... There was no internet music distribution. There were no CDs. It yeah. was all acoustic live music before 1997. So to Fortnite... In 1997, we started seeing digital music formats being recorded, mm -hmm. um, which may be, I think, that the fact that that started at the same time that Fortnite came out is really cool yeah. and probably related. But at that time, Fortnite had no music at all. There was no availability for there music in that format. There weren't graphics either. No graphics, yeah. Fortnite was a silent game in all aspects at that point. Fortnite was basically like you would just play with your controller. Well, after they added the controls, of course. You would just play with your controller and like you would move around the sticks and the buttons. And then two to three weeks later, like business days, you would get, you would get a thing in the mail that said that you got your chicken dinner or whatever the fuck. Fortnite meal. I wish I was alive in 1997. I can't I wish imagine. I, was alive I think right about now. that'd be cool too. I'm just pissed to be alive. I, yeah, I'm mad about it. That I wish I was alive in 1997 for a couple of reasons. First of all, Pokemon cards first became popular in 1997, mm -hmm. same year as Fortnite came out, and as we started experimenting yeah. with non-acoustic music. Uh, like non-acoustic live music, the experience that I had being not born in 1997 is that I was not around, or not even born before 1997. I wish I was like an adult in 1997 so I could be there for the beginning of the Pokemon card yeah. craze. But if I had never been six years old when Pokemon Ruby came out, or when I got the game at least... I never would have decided I really wanted to get into Pokemon before it happened. So it's sort of a paradox. I wish Wednesday has ever still happened. Yeah, Wednesday I miss. I miss that a lot. I miss having skin. I miss having skin. Yeah. I love... Fortnite so I went much. into I Fortnite. Love Fortnite so fucking much. I love Fortnite so fucking much that I went into Fortnite and I gave up my skin and my physical body. And it was it was cute of you, to be honest. It, it was, was cute. Sweet. It was thoughtful. It was nice of me. I really thought I I felt seen, to be honest. It, it was, was like I, I wish really I could before. do that. And I was like, whoa, I am yeah. doing that. Yeah. Um, I'm about to share my personal tier list of all the Fortnite characters. Um, George F tier. I f fuck George. Um, Martin is E tier. I think his videos suck on YouTube. Um, 12, uh, S tier. I love Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Um... And Maximoff, that's H tier, but above A tier. It's the new... We're doing something different here. Charles um, Barkley, that's yeah. C, B tier? C, B, T, 
Ch- cognitive to behavioral to Charles means. Barkley. This is a choose your own adventure. Here, right now, turn the podcast to uh, 28 minutes and 3 seconds, and that'll make this, it'll, you'll be listening to that part of the podcast. <laughs> My turn to offer a choose your own adventure. Turn your podcast to minute 41, and then you will be listening to that part of the podcast. True. True. Can't hey, I'm going to bring in that. special correspondent, uh, Andrea Dennison, our recording engineer for Fortnightly. Um, I'm going to, I'm speaking through the digital audio that is available in Fortnite now. And uh, I want to bring Andrea Dennison over. Uh, I'm inside Fortnite currently. Hopefully I'll get my skin back at some point. But right now, suffering from being skinless, let me uh, tap Andrea's brain into the machine. Andrea Dennison, welcome to Fortnightly, the podcast about Fortnite. Well, I've never been inside a uh, a video game before, but whoops. Sorry, tripping over some polygons there. Hard to navigate. People are always just leaving polygons everywhere. I swear to God. Hello. I was actually there when they first um, put music into video games. I am extremely old, so I have a lot of experience. How old? It, it's not important. It doesn't really, it really doesn't matter. No, not for this. I needed to bring you in for a special character correspondence. Who yes, are your favorite characters in Fortnite? Where do they, uh, where do they rank for you? Oh, yeah. So, let's see. Uh, just added Garfield. Uh, was excited about that, but, you know, disappointing. B rank for me. Mm-hmm. What, how, what are you, how are you feeling on Lemons, Jeremy? Because he just dropped... <sighs> You know? In patch 2.41 A3B. Yeah, I I really appreciated that it was um like a free update. That's nice. Yeah. Um Yeah, so a little sour. Uh but if you like that, so maybe like uh I don't know, like an A minus A minus rank. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. I, w- when I first started playing Fortnite, you had to pay for all the updates with life energy. Whoa. Do you have to have a, a what's it, like a special bank account? Is it like Bitcoin? Like I wouldn't worry too much about it. Weren't they going to add, who was it? Oh, Barack Obama, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they canceled those plans. Oh, shit. They just put in Pickle Rick again. Fuck. You, there's two different Pickle Rick skins now, though, and those oh. are both uh, similar to Barney. Very overpowered characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you can react to them. You can look at them have emotional responses. They're very funny. Pickle, Actually, turning into Pickle Rick is also an emote that's available for most characters on Fortnite, but you have to turn yeah. back. And so most, it doesn't give you the same stat boosts. And most characters in Minecraft, too. Andrea, thank you for your special character correspondence. Always happy to, to, always happy to join you in this virtual space. Hello, welcome back to me. I'm back on the podcast. Sienna, good to see you. Yeah, I, I don't... I can't see. I don't have eyes anymore. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Yeah, it's great. You're playing as that NRA character right now that got his eyes shot out by Santa Claus, by a pea shooter. Yeah, and... That's the plot of Home Alone, the movie. And I'm playing as Big Chungus. I met the guy who insists he invented that name as a Super Smash Brothers... um, Super Smash Brothers tag, Big Chungus, mm-hmm. yeah. and his name is Graham, and he's in the military. Yeah. Um. And I think his girlfriend lives in Canada, and his uncle works at Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I, I agree with everything you just said there and more. Oh, thank you. It's nice to yeah. be agreed with so viscerally. Yeah, I agree with you inside and out. Um, I agree with your lung tissue and more. Fortnightly is coming to an end. That's beautiful, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am a beautiful man. My name is Zayden Kinsella. I am uh, the network director of the Sinister Parent Company Podcast Network. I produce the show's good idea, Something Wonderful, right away, and I help produce so straight off the top of my headlines, and I produce all the things that are on the Good Idea Podcast, including Fortnightly. Fortnightly, the podcast about Fortnite. You can find it on the goodidea.show website. That's goodidea.show, like the thing you say to people when they have one, dot, show, like the thing that it is. If you're listening to this and you enjoy it, you should leave us a five-star review so we can make more of it. There's going to be more of the yeah. Fortnightly podcast. We love the Fortnightly podcast. We love Fortnite. Andrea Dennison has been our recording engineer today. Thank yeah. you, Andrea, very much. Sienna, um, thank you for doing the podcast. Sienna, you can find me online. Um, I've got... I've got broadband, so check it out. That's awesome. Listen for more episodes of Fortnightly. Those are going to come out on the Good Idea podcast feed, and most likely forever, perhaps until further notice. But look for Fortnightly on the Good Idea podcast feed. And we're going to do episodes of Fortnightly as often as possible, because this is the podcast about Fortnite. So it's very important that, yeah. we, that somebody's doing it. I don't know that I have anything to add. Listen to Good Idea. Listen to Fortnightly. Listen to Something Wonderful right away. Listen to Straight Off the Top of My Headlines if you like improvised news and dystopian society. And listen to music while you still can. Please. Oh, my God. Music. You have, like, 30 days. 30 days. At mo and Fortnite's going to be remo removing music even before that because they're trying not to run up to the end. You know, they want to be early rather than be on time, which is to be late, and certainly not to be late, which is to be dead, according to my middle school choir instructor. That's all true. All true. I verified that. Verified. Thank you, Benjamin Gray, for telling me that to be late is to be dead. Thank you, Sienna. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Sinister Parent Company. And thank you for sponsoring the podcast at patreon.com. The Sinister Parent Company headquarters. I should learn what the actual URL is, but I know I'm going to put it in the edit, uh, the episode notes. I tried so many hards. The episode notes. And you can find it there. Or you can find our Patreon on the goodidea.show website. Okay, I'll shut up. I'm going to make more podcasts at, uh, all the time, and I'll make them even faster the more patrons we have. That is 100%. I would like to spend all of my time making podcasts and... I currently can't because I gotta have a job, and that's fine. Uh, and and right now, if you support us, you'll get other bonuses. But I'm not gonna explain that right now because this is fortnightly, and it's a podcast about sorry, the podcast about Fortnite, not the podcast about the Sinister Parent Company or the Sinister Parent Company Patreon. So thank you for your time, and thank you for listening to Fortnightly, and thank you to Celine Dion for playing our intro music. Um. Thank you to everybody who sponsors the podcast currently at Sinister Parent Company Headquarters Patreon. Um, you're the best. We love you. Thank you for being here. And we couldn't do this without you. That's it. You got anything else, Sienna? I really need to pee really badly. Oh, fuck, dude. Go pee. Go pee. Come on. That was Fortnightly. Thank you for playing Fortnite.